okay. What's up, guys? It's your boy Black Eyed Red. Back with our next one. Let me get into the one time. So this video marks the start of a new series called Ban or No Ban and are pretty self-explanatory. I name my hero and break down their skill set and play style and then decide if they are indeed ban worthy or not. So the hero for today would be Atlas. Last season, he had the fourth highest ban rate. But is Atlas really that ban worthy? Well, here's my thoughts. So first of all, I think his ban rate is affected by a lot of cultural factors. Remember, this game especially is really toxic, so if it is you don't ban a certain hero that you usually ban, then there's a good chance your teammates would flame you for it. A lot of players don't want to deal with that, so they just ban the heroes that everyone accustomed banning anyway. Another cultural factor, well I'm not sure if culture will be the right word here, but for the lack of a better word we'll use it. Another cultural factor is that sometimes you might be the last person to ban and then your mind just goes blank and you're there shuffling vigorously through your memory to figure out wait, who's one of the popular bands? Then you just go for that anyway. So I think that's a very huge factor. But I think the biggest factor is as I mentioned before, people just ban him just because. But honestly, I can't see myself justifying banning Atlas. My reason is because he's just real predictable. Also, he's so one-dimensional, so you already know what tricks he coming with, like, he can't come with new tricks. Especially when I compare to someone like Gushan, you never know in what order he gonna do the combo. It have like, five different possibilities and that makes it a lot harder to counterplay. And that's not the case for Atlas, Atlas is so easy to outplay. His combo will literally always start with his skill too. And if the pilot comes under any form of hard CC, then that's it, the entire combo more or less ruined and he just become a sitting duck afterwards. And the next downfall with Atlas is that when he uses his skill too, he ends up so far away from his teammates that they have to play catch up almost. And that time is spent catching up to make something of your push, a lot of stuff could happen. Admittedly though, they made up for this by revamping his passive. Though, personally I think it's just a bit overtuned, it's just what Atlas needed. It solves the issue of your team having to play catch up. And truth be told, most Atlas players don't even utilize this to the fullest effect. In fact, I've only met one or two Atlas players that do. Everyone else plays him just like they're used to in season 26. So the million dollar question. Do we or do we not ban Atlas? Well, personally, I think we shouldn't waste our ban on Atlas. Not saying that he isn't 100% ban worthy. I just think that it has so much more ban worthy heroes that are in front of Atlas. And we only have 3 ban slots. So maybe if we get more ban slots, then I might consider banning Atlas. But until that day comes, I think we should save you ban slots for other heroes. But anyway, that's the end of this video. I hope all you enjoy it. Bag of bread signing off.